Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have a Kregalachy, exceptional cast series, Palo Crotado limited edition. We um, finished duration was two and a half years, 30 months. This was actually distilled on the 19th of August 2000, I'm sorry, 1999. This was batch number, and that's not cast number, it's batch number CR1999, 17 years old. And this is whiskey base number 107337. Price, 299 euros. Ouch. So, um, first of all, most, uh, some bottles actually have a story. So I was in Scotland, um, March 2019, flew back from Edinburgh and um, was at the airport early in the morning. The flight went at nine. I was there at seven, walk into the whiskey store and say, hey, do you have something special? She said, well, here. I was like, no, no, those bottles I have. I want something special. She said, oh, and she went up and grabbed something. She said, here, I went online, went, oh, yeah, that's very, very nice. And so I bought it. Um, it was something I've been saving for a little while because I wanted to actually have a little bit of a um, flight here. So we'll start off with a nice little 13 year old, right? Clay Galaki, you may have seen this before. Maybe you've seen the 17 year old before. Very, very nice. This is 40 euros, this is 80 euros. Maybe you've heard of the 23 year old, and I don't have the 31 year old yet. I need to find that. Um, and so I have these four at the moment. Um, very, very nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to the 17 year old because it is 17 years old. So this is 80 euros over here. This is 299 euros over there. This was bottled in 2017, 3,032 bottles worldwide. Um, travel retail only as far as I'm concerned, as far as I was informed or I found online. So. What is Palo Cortado? Palo Cortado is a sherry, a type of sherry. Now we might know Fino sherry, which is very dry. We might actually know the Amontillado, I mispronounced that, I'm sorry, which is in between. And you might know the Oroloso and the Pedro Jimenez. Yeah, so we have the Pedro Jimenez, we have the Oroloso, we have the Fino, we have the Amontillado, and then in between the Amontillado and the um, Oroloso, you have here the Palo Cortado. So what happens when you make sherry? You put sherry after it started fermenting into a cask, and in the cask you get um, the yeast, and you put a, a total a level of a whole layer of yeast on top. It floats on the sherry, and it protects it from coming into contact with oxygen, so that the entire um, maturation process is um, oxygen without oxygen, which makes the whiskey a very, very, uh, the, whiskey, the, the whiskey, the sherry, a very, very nice product. Maybe you've actually seen a barrel with like a plexiglass um, um, head on it, and you can actually see that the, the lower, or the older it gets, the less and less whiskey you have in there. Now imagine the fluid of sherry, and imagine there's like a little bit of whipped cream layer on top of it. It's a brownish type of whipped cream layer, and that whipped cream layer is this um, yeast layer and the yeast prevents the oxygen from getting in there. That's why you have the fino, that's why you have the uh, amotilado, and that's why you have the oroloso. Now with, um, with um, palo um, cortado, for some reason that yeast layer has been damaged and oxygen gets into that whiskey, uh, into that sherry. That sherry becomes very nutty. That sherry becomes more of an almond type of flavor. Way back when, this was called the mystery because you'd actually have maybe a hundred different barrels and four of them turned into the palo cortado. Palo means stick. If you have a selfie stick, in Spanish it's palo, a uh, selfie palo. And then the cortado just means cut off or broken off. So it's a broken off stick. Something happened here. This is something you would want to almost throw away, but it turned into one of those special things. And of course, these special casks are now made on purpose. So you just take a normal sherry, you put the nice little um, yeast layer on top of it, and then after a while, you take it away and you let the oxygen get in there, and you create this special type of, with, um, of sherry. 
Now, Whiskey has found out that this is a perfect um, element or environment to actually finish and mature Whiskey in. And that's what they did here at the Craig Alachy. Um, they said, hey, we have a great 17-year-old. Why don't we have something special for those travelers? Travel retail. So people that travel with the airplane usually have deeper pockets than people who don't. And therefore, they wanted to have something a little bit special there. And um, that's why 3,032 bottles worldwide. Ta-da! And I actually bought one of those. Um, I did a bottle share with this. Um, amazingly, not many people <laughs> actually participated. I think I've actually shared about a third of this bottle. One guy actually um, ordered this, and the 23-year-old, the 17-year-old, and 13-year-old. So he's going to do a flight himself, which I thought was really, really cool. All right, so you know a little bit more about the sherry. You know a little bit of what the, what the Palo Cortado so, uh, actually encompasses. Very, very nice. Um, for me, this is a typical Craig Alechi with a nice sherry, nutty, almond moment. That's it. Um, if I go over here, yep, exactly the same, but here I get more vanilla and more oak. Here I get more um, sherry, nut, almonds. Now, Craig Alechi is famous for its warm tubs, and every time I try this, I think of a whiskey um, Imagine you drink a whiskey and then afterwards you take a copper pipe and you go um, It's got that copper mm, acidy type of minerally type of metal moment Doesn't sound nice is I really like it. it's a strong robust whiskey. It's not a light. It's not a very floral This is a like a mortlach. This is this is a strong um, Whiskey that I really 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 um, enjoy um, I like the 13 a little bit too sh too, mm, too much um, um, alcohol notes in it. It's not ripe enough. It's not mature enough. I'm sorry. The 13 year old is fab. The 17 year old is fabulous. 23 year old is very, very nice, but a little bit too expensive. I haven't had the 31 year old yet, and now I have the um, the exceptional cask. 46%. Mm, there were some out there that actually were cast strength, even more expensive. Didn't wasn't even offered that. I guess I didn't have the right shoes on on that day. Who knows. Mmm, 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 <laughs> very nice whiskey. And what I really have here is I have a tango. Um, sometimes I have the feeling that um, the finishes um, fight with the original bottle um, spirit, but here I have a dance. I have a tango. They just inter out. They interchange with each other. I have the the um, Paulo Cortado. I have the Craig, the um, Craig Alachi. I have the. Then it comes back and it goes back and it goes back and at the end I just have a marriage of the two. Um, this is they just like, mm, 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 and then ah, um, excellent, excellent whiskey. This is actually in my book a B plus. Um, one, why haven't you bought it? Um, one which is an A, B, buy it, C, you can buy it if you want to, D, don't need to, F, why was this made? This is definitely a buy, but value for money. <laughs> D, D plus, but D. 300 euros is just way out of the ballpark for this. I saw this online, I've seen this online, and I saw it actually um, auction, uh, one auction site, and the bottle went for 130 euros, which I think is almost the perfect price. I think it was 130 pounds, but don't worry. 120 to 130 euros would have been the exact right price for this, for me, for the taste experience. But of course, it's travel retail, double the price and you get double the fun. I'm going over here to the Kriyaki 17 year old. Mmm. 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 I just love this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Um, I lick the copper pipe again. <laughs> um, very, very... Um, it's not floral. It's not smooth. It's edgy. It's a little bit robust. It's a little bit of a manly type of drink if I may be so politically incorrect at this moment. Um, those warm tubs just give it a much deeper, darker moment. Think Mortlach. Um, that's what you're getting here. And this is a, this is a secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. The Craig Alec 17 may be one of the best um, whiskeys out there for that price, for that type of taste if you want it. Over here, 
it's exactly the same thing, but you have the sherry coming in there, interweaving with each other, and their marriage, their vatted, and it's exactly what you want to have. Excellent, excellent whiskey. Um, not a great price. All right, very, very good. So whiskey, Jason, here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. If you ever get the chance to try this at a bar or a friend offers it to you, take it. If you can buy the bottle for $100 to $150, take it. If you're going to pay 300 I saw it online for 400 euros, actually, um, I'm a whiskey base. It's not worth it. Sorry. It's a great whiskey, but go over here. Go to the 17-year-old. Um, try that instead. This is basically the same thing, just without a little bit of the finish. Excellent, excellent whiskey. So my question of the day is what other casks or which other finishes or which other bottlings out there do you know that are actually using the Palo Cortado um, cask at the moment? I have a fit, I have a Deanston. I was there together with Aquavite, Roy, as well with um, Andy from Food Quake from Vancouver. We met at the distillery and we had a great day. We actually did a private little tour. We went to the warehouse and took the little and poured in our glass. I almost wanted to do that. It was so so, so great. You can go to Food Quake's um, website or YouTube um, site. And you can actually um, see us at the distillery doing that, tasting all those different types of sherry casks matured Deanston spirits beautiful 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 warehouse it was such a lovely um, once in a lifetime type of moment it was so much fun highly highly recommend it what other whiskeys do you know I know the Deanston I know the Craig Alachy that actually used the Palo Cortado casks I'm sure there's many more out there please write them in the comments every day I'm sorry every week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I publish my videos rare and exotic 3032 um, bottles of that and I would be happy to have a comment if you'd like you can contact me at whiskey Jason one word at gmail.com otherwise we'll see each other soon I hope don't forget to like subscribe and tell others bye bye <music>